Hey guys, what's up? Today we're going to take a look at the Omega ROM for the Samsung Galaxy S2 GTI 9100. That's for an international variant, once again. So stay tuned for that. Hi again. So first things first, make sure you've got a rooted Samsung Galaxy S2. This one's currently running on the Slim Bean ROM. Secondly, make sure you've got a good micro USB cable connected to your computer, of course. Thirdly, make sure you've got Samsung keys installed for driver's sake. So once you have all the requirements, head over to omega-roams.net and don't worry, the download link will be posted in the video description below. And we're going to download the XWS and final Jelly Bean 4.1.2. This Omega ROM is based on the official Samsung Galaxy S2 latest uh, firmware build. In this case, it's only on the XWLSN. So download that. That's roughly about 600 megabytes in file size. Probably one of the largest uh, ROMs I've seen on the market. So once that's downloaded, I downloaded it on the desktop and the file name should be i9100 underscore omega version 23 xwsn etc. So once you have it on the desktop, connect your Samsung Galaxy S2 via micro USB cable. Put it aside and it should pop up. Open device to view files of course and we're going to save it on the SD card as usual. So we're going to copy that. So once it's copied to the SD card, disconnect the micro USB cable from your Samsung Galaxy S2. So once the micro USB cable has been disconnected, you can finally uh, switch off or shut down your Samsung Galaxy S2. Again, please do make sure that your phone is rooted before heading on to the next step. And don't worry, I have a guide on how to root your phone, whether it's on ice cream sandwich or on jelly bean in one of the, I'll be putting up a link somewhere here. So we're gonna shut down the phone, power off. So once your phone is fully powered off, we're gonna head into recovery mode and we're going to do a wipe partition and wipe cache prior to installing the ROM. So to head over to recovery mode, all you have to do is to press volume up home button and power button all at once for up to 10 seconds and your screen should uh, flash uh, twice. So I can let go now and we're going to be heading into recovery mode in just a moment. So as you can see we're in recovery mode right now. Let me adjust this a bit. So you guys can see it clearly. Okay. So prior to installing, we're gonna I'm gonna try this new method actually right now. We're going to do a wipe data factory reset and wipe cast partition. So it's like making sure that uh, there won't be any issues in, uh, after installing the new ROM. So head over to wipe data factory reset. Yes, delete all your data. And head over to wipe cache partition just to be sure. Okay, so everything seems to be clearing, cleaned and cleared right now. So head over to install zip from SD card. Choose zip from SD card. Head over down to i9910 Omega version 23. Let me see if you can get that there. Okay, we're going to flash it. Use the power button to select it. Yes, install Omega version 23 and this will probably takes quite some time give it up to five to ten minutes so I'll be back once it's fully installed I just like to show you guys it's using a custom installer so that means you have to press um, you have to do this manually so let's see if I can adjust the brightness a bit more there you go guys hope you can read all of that so again um, it's a custom installer and uh, we have to set it up manually. So you're about to install Omega for Samsung Galaxy S2 version 23. It's the stock team, ROM is Omega. So click next. Please make your selection full wipe. 
just to be sure. This is pretty cool actually, I kind of like this. It's called the Aroma Installer. Please select insulation method, there are three types. There's default insulation, light insulation, and custom insulation. Let's see what custom insulation is all about. Oh, okay, so it includes, you can tick and remove certain applications. I was just, this is actually pretty cool. So this is already part of, I add this to my review, one of the positive um, points for this room. So nevertheless, I'm going to go back and I'm going to select the fault installation. Install everything. The, this wizard is ready to begin installation. Press install to begin. If you want to review, press back. All right, so install. Wow, I, I kind of like this. Looks really cool. So I'll be back once it's fully installed. Give this up to five to 10 minutes again. So we're back again and looks like everything is all done. So we click next. Has, has been installed into your device. Reboot your device now. All right, let's reboot it. All right, so everything is, seems to be a little bit more automatic now. And this time we don't need to do a wipe, a partition or wipe cache since it's, it's already done that. Thanks to the Aroma or custom installer, part of the Omega Roam. So I'll be back again once it's fully booted up. This again will take three, up to three to five minutes. So don't worry if it gets stuck on this screen. So it looks like it got stuck at a Samsung boot screen and I've been waiting for the past, I think, 10 minutes now. So most likely, if it ever gets stuck here, uh, all you have to do is remove the battery. And we're going to head into recovery mode again. To get into recovery mode, press volume up, home button, and power button all at once. But nevertheless, if it doesn't get stuck on the Samsung screen, you don't need to do this step. I guess and where we have to do this because first of all um, we're coming from a different room as usual. Of course it's going to provide we will be providing errors so wipe data factory reset clean to install a new room or wipe data factory reset. Uh, I'm going to choose wipe data factory reset. Yes, delete all user data. All right, press any key to continue. Wipe cache partition, yes, wipe cache. Press any key to computer, reboot system now. So hopefully this time it will boot up. And again, I'll have to wait for about three to five minutes. So the Samsung boot up sequence should come on. Yep, we've got the Samsung logo there. And let's give it five minutes five to ten minutes to finally uh, install and boot up. So stay tuned. Thankfully it booted up after about um, three to five minutes. So we're going to set up the Samsung Galaxy S2, uh, Omega ROM of course, and as you can see it's definitely based on the on Samsung's latest touch with uh, Jelly Bean firmware. This is XWLSN for your information. So we click start we're going to skip all of this. We can do this later. Okay, next. And as you can see already by default, it has this new battery mod um, battery status in the status bar. Skip. No. Not now. Okay. Next. Next. And of course, you've got Dropbox again. So if you'd like to take advantage of this, you can get up to 50 gigabytes of free Dropbox space for two years. If you like to take advantage of this, you can very well do so. But I've read uh, some forum posts that on, on XDA developers, the forum that uh, Dropbox tends to, not really, they tend to reduce, the, reduce your 50 gigabytes uh, Dropbox account back to Two, giga, two gigabytes, I believe that's the, the default size on Dropbox because they do know that you're coming from a custom room and you, you know, you're trying to take advantage of it. 
So let me click finish. So it should load up and we should have the Omega home screen. Yep. Let's go that check it out this no. Check out the Omega robot behind. So it's got Flipboard pre-installed. I've got Advanced S. I have no idea what it is. Um, Omega Files, Omega Settings. Let's check out Omega Settings. So yes, of course. Ask again next time. Grant. This is really, really, really interesting. Uh, let's go and head to the settings of the phone. Let's go to about device and as you can see it's running Omega version 23 XWLSN that proves that it's been in the ROM has been finally installed and yeah this is the Omega ROM for the Samsung Galaxy S2 and we're going to have an in-depth look of it um, later on in the week so stay tuned for that don't forget to like this video don't forget to subscribe to Wired Mash and thanks for watching.